think there's a chance that as humans and societies adopt more digital components in their lives and strategies overall and it fills our day, that the technology itself may become more human. I think that's going to take a lot of work though and I don't think it's the natural path. In fact, I would suggest that um, the real risk is as humans we are increasingly offloading a lot of our decision making into the hands of algorithms and processes um, in a way that may not be so obvious to us. So let's take for example just um, social media streams and so if you access social media on a phone and you go through whatever streams being presented to you it has been enhanced and augmented by your preferences your history your demographics and frankly the preferences of advertisers in that circle and it never ends now right so it just keeps going and so our agency as humans has been significantly reduced we're not really making any choices we won't accidentally find a topic that we would never have thought to look at anymore and we won't naturally know to stop. So I would suggest that unless we purposefully engage with artificial intelligence and machine learning and new technologies in a way that we say enhances our things we like to do as humans, um, unless we do that very purposefully, the kind of easy path of technology will actually reduce our kind of basic human nature and probably won't make the technology any more human. We'll kind of lean in towards that technology, which is automated, algorithmic, and frankly, at the moment, very commercially geared. There's nothing wrong with that, but we do have to realize that most of the innovation is presented to us because it generates an opportunity or a profit, uh, not because it makes us better. So, in summary, if you uh, make an effort to make the technology enhance you as a human. You not only will we become a better person, but the technology itself may evolve to be that way. But if we just go down the easy path, I actually don't think it'll turn out that way.